Great. Now we have Mr. Paul Salcone from North Point Bank. Paul is going to talk to us about these current interest rates, okay, and the market conditions as well as why it makes sense to purchase a home now versus waiting. And I'm curious, Paul, what's the election have to do or have any implication on where things are going or where they're at currently? Yeah, I mean, that, that's a great question, Greg. I mean, at the end of the day, I think there's huge implications for the uh, with the election, what happens. I mean, the next, uh, you know, 60, 90 days, everything that transpires. I mean, I, I do think that rates, regardless of what who gets elected as president, I think rates will go down a little, uh, depending on what what party gets elected, I think it could e impact rates even further. I'm not asking for rates in the 2% range, but we need to get rates a little lower. It makes our buyers a little more confident, a little more comfortable with monthly payments. Because as you know, when you're buying a home, this is a 30-year investment here. This isn't like, a, oh, well, you know, in a year or so, we'll uh, we'll just you know, sell it quickly. Some people are doing this for a 25, 30-year place to live. They want to make sure they're comfortable with that payment because you know, it doesn't, doesn't change overnight. I do think that rates will go down. I would say, you know, anywhere from a you know, this is my just my, my theory here, maybe a half percent to one percent prior to the election. But after the election, I want to see what's going to happen. I'd love to see rates, you know, back to where they were in 2020 or even, you know, even back when they were in the fours. I think even the fours were, were a pretty good time in, in the real estate world. What's the average 30 year rate right now, Paul? So so 30 year rate. I mean, we're looking at, you know, let's say conventional to start right now. Someone conventional first time home buyer you know, with three to five percent down we're looking at, you know, probably around six percent plus or minus. Sometimes you get a little bit lower than that, maybe a little higher. I would say between you know five eight seven five and six and a quarter, which you know is a lot better than it was even uh, three to four months ago when we were pushing yeah. the seven percent range. So that that's definitely pretty good. I mean FHA is even better right now. I mean with FHA rates, um, I'm, I'm seeing them as low as you know five and a half five point six two five. I mean mm. to me that, that's a very you know relative to what they were. I mean if you were at seven before. Uh, when you're looking at buying homes and now you're at 5.625, your payment's going to you know, drop a couple hundred a month minimum, which is also going to help your buying power as well. Another thing, we talk about prices being high right now, absolutely. But at the end of the day, you know, I still think, you know, why would it make more sense to buy today versus tomorrow? And this is my theory here is, OK, rates, while they're not phenomenal, they're better than they have been. But I think once rates go down, what's going to happen is it's going to increase the buying pool again. And I think more people are going to get back into the mix, which ultimately is good for sellers. But I think for buyers now, I think prices will be even higher. Mm. I think because payments are less. So in theory, I mean, let's just say hypothetically, you buy a house today, let's say a, a single family home at 400,000. Okay. And let's just say, well, you know, the rates are in the low sixes, high fives, wherever it may be, you put an offer in and all of a sudden, you know, rates go down to the mid fours or, or mid low fives even in a year from now. You refinance. Now that payment goes down, say, three or four hundred a month. OK, great. You're in a better spot. Now, if you wait. Oh, I want to wait till rates are lower. OK, you wait till rates are lower. That four hundred thousand dollar home today might be four thirty, four forty in a year from now, mm -hmm. because now what a payment is at four forty is what it used to be at four hundred. So my thing is you can always refinance your current rate. You can't refinance what you own the house. And so mm. if you buy it today's prices and then refinance, great. But if you buy it tomorrow's prices, you know, even if you can have a lower rate, you can't lower the price. The price is what it is. So I still think it might make sense, especially in certain parts of the state, to consider buying today and then, you know, refining in the next 8, 12, 16 months, wherever it may be.